Brooklyn Independent Television. Hello, I'm Randy Pierce. Welcome to Sector B, the business of Brooklyn on Brooklyn Independent Television. Just over 30 years ago, the people behind Home Depot started revolutionizing the way Americans buy products for home repair and renovation, in part by stocking thousands of items. Now, a woman from Brooklyn has taken a leaf from their book, a green leaf, and has built a business called Green Depot. Here's a look at how well her eco-friendly approach is working. But I wanted to have it on wheels that could be locked. Right. So that we could, we could always roll things around and replace them. Right. So, um... Do you want it to have shelves? Um, I, I don't know, and that's what mm -hmm. we need to talk about. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. We could talk mm -hmm. about that. My name is Sarah Beatty, and I'm the founder of Green Depot. Uh, Green Depot was founded in Brooklyn, New York in 2005, right here. This was our first location. And Green Depot is really a one-stop shop for green building, green building and living solutions. Our mission at Green Depot is to make green building uh, accessible, affordable, and gratifying so that people can find solutions that will work for them so that we can live in a more efficient and healthy way. Hi, how are you? Hi. Welcome uh, to Green hi. Depot. Frank, Seattle Home Improvements. Uh, my customer asked me to come in here. Uh, I do a home improvements, but they want to do environmentally sensitive, uh, clean stuff, green uh -huh. stuff. I'm used to doing renovations. This is something right. a little bit new to me. Right. We're going to do some remodeling, a little uh, flooring, some walls, redoing some kitchen work. All right. Well, you come to the and, right place. Uh, we've got all of the products that you would normally need on a regular job, but we've got them in environmentally friendly, you know, green products. Okay. Um, let's see, where to begin? Let's start with the flooring. All right, the company yeah. started in, in 2005, about, uh, and I'm an accidental entrepreneur. This was not planned. I actually worked at MTV for 10 years, and I had um, stopped working, and I was expecting my first child, and I had a toxic environmental scare in my apartment after I had supervised our renovation. And it really woke me up. So that was really the changing point for me. It made me a very motivated consumer. And the next thing I did was that start asking a lot of questions and going online. And I found out that there were some great products out there. I became very educated. But I also discovered that while there were really cool new products in the marketplace having to do with renovation and ensuring you know, safe, safe indoor environments, not many of the products were available in the Northeast. So it seemed like that was the point where I thought, you know, well, if no one else is doing it, <laughs> um, you know, maybe I should try to do this and create a boutique, one-stop shop that really will supply um, reputable green building materials for people who want to start building and living in a more healthy, sustainable way. This is the green answer to VC tile. It's, it's uh, called Marmoleum, made by a company called Forbo. And it's actually made out of um, linseed, believe it or not. Two challenges for our business as a startup, and I think for any green business, one of them is that there are so many new products, new, new green products that are flooding the marketplace, but the standards for those products are not set. So we at Green Depot recognized very early on that um, the way to truly build a successful company would be to create a vetting, really a vetting system for our own company that would not only train our, our, our own employees as we grew, but would ensure quality control for how we're evaluating those and products. This is concentrate, and you mix it with water. It's non-toxic. It's also made in Queens, New York. Um, so it's you know locally manufactured, and we we try to support the local economy as much as we possibly can. Um, but it's a great product, and these jugs will last you a very long time. Okay, that's good. The and second challenge that um, that really is facing the marketplace with green is that green is such a big word, and it means different things to different people. But consumers want to know their end benefits. So we attached what's called this icon system to the end of our filter, so that we could tell people in really simple ways. Here's what's in it for you. Remember the word clear. If you remember that word, they're your starting port. Clear, conservation, and clean chemicals. Local, L, E, energy, A, air quality, R, responsibility. Um, did your customer or you consider blow-in insulation with cellulose? I normally have uh, fiberglass put in, so whatever's closest to that. Okay, well, similar. I would, I would uh, definitely recommend the denim uh, recycled cotton insulation. Um, but, you know, take a look at our cellulose insulation because it has the best uh, 
energy rating. So, um, you know, that truly, I think the filter as well as our icon system and our clear way of navigating, it's our own search engine for our own customers. And um, it helps us to be able to help them faster. And hopefully consumers that come to Green Depot leave um, furnished with, um, with more, um, with really more knowledge and they're empowered so that they can really navigate and command the consumer marketplace, create better products. And I think that's what we all want. And good luck with the demolition. Okay. M make sure you use some masks. We have some if you don't, if you need them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take care. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.